Hey Wally, you forgot to put these feeder ledges away. What feeder ledges? Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I usually put these away. I don't know what I was thinking. When you have over 750 enclosures, feeding dishes are so important to what you're doing in your facility. Even if you have one or two or 10, you have to have the right feeder dishes to save you time and make the food available for your animals. So for our crested geckos, you know, you know I love these little crested gecko diet dishes. I actually did a video on this. I'll show it right up here. You can take a look at that. I love these and that actually they're in our store. So you can go to our store to purchase these. For our boreal animals, animals that like to climb, we use a different dish. Now we've found that the best dish is from a company, and I'll put the company in the video's description down below. They're called Strudy's. Now we've had a couple of really good feeder ledges that work out perfect for us. These feeder ledges with the suction cups, I have never, ever, ever found any. Pangea has some that are pretty good. I just don't like them at all. I like the magnets. These have very, very strong magnets. And I'll see if I can get it a little closer here so you can see this. Extreme, well, I can't even get it off. Extremely strong, strong magnets. And again, you can put a silicone dish in here. You can feed right from here, but then you have to pull it out all the time. Put a little silicone dish in there. It works perfect. Has a little bit of a groove, if you can see that, where you can put your finger in and grab that out. You can use a bottle cap if you want to. It's just easier with these silicone dishes. Putting, putting the food in and if the animals don't eat the food, then you can just throw the food away. It comes out really super easy with these silicone dishes. Here's a couple that we've tried out in our facility for, and again, this is for arboreal geckos. These are geckos that like to climb. Even if you're using glass or plastic, these ledges work really, really well. Now, we've used these feeder dishes in the past, and maybe you can get a better look at them right here. We actually have a gecko, a day gecko, sitting here waiting to be fed the feeder dish the little silicone dish is empty right now. So we're going to fill that up in just a minute and uh, we'll see if they're ready to eat. Now these are great, great feeder dishes, just big enough uh, for, and you don't have any cups or anything, it's just big enough for smaller day geckos, smaller arboreal geckos to eat from. This dish just went on the market probably about a month ago or so. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the price is going to go up quickly on this dish. I have a couple of, throughout the facility that I'm using and I love it, especially if you have those little um, uh, acrylic enclosures, you know, the ones that they, they make for spiders. That, those are perfect for little micro geckos and they're also perfect for growing out day geckos and uh, geckos like that. And take a look at the cost. The cost is extremely low on these. It's going to go up. I tell you what, folks, grab a handful right now. Again, I've been using these in our facility for a little bit, and it works out perfect. Just the right size for small geckos. Now, this company isn't sponsoring us at all. I just wanted to put a helpful hint out there for you reptile keepers. Go out, grab your feeder ledges right now. It makes feeding geckos so much easier.
You want to see one of the geckos that we're feeding with these ledges? Take a look at this video right here. This is a bovaye. You're going to love the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.